Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about S and L attributes. In our last class, we clearly discussed about dependency graph, the failure case of dependency graph. So when we are not going to evaluate the attributes during the context-free grammar evaluation. So please, this is a continuation class. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So in our last class, when we discussed about dependency graph, if you are forming a cycle, the SDD attributes cannot be evaluated. In order to I, uh, in order to write this, uh, write a uh, write a condition without having the cycle, you should follow some conditions. What's those conditions? Let's try to understand in this uh, in this class. Uh, so before going into S and L attributes, first refresh the concept of what's bottom up and top down. How the evaluation will be? Quick refresh. Uh, T tends to star F T dash. If you are having this production, how the bottom up approach will uh, will help? Uh, First, we are going to find star, then we are going to find f, then we are going to t dash. After finding these three, this is, these three can be reduced to t. Means you are going to identify child first. The childs are going to be reduced to the parent. This is how bottom up evaluate. These points helps in understanding S and L attributes. Similarly, top down approach, how it is going to elaborate? T tends to star F T dash. T is going to elaborate star. After completion of it, it is going to check for F. After that, it is going to check for T dash. Means it is going top down left to right. Means before going to T dash, left variables are going to evaluate. After completion of left, it is going to right. Left to right approach it is following top down approach means now coming to the point yes attribute and uh, l attribute s attribute a s d d syntax directed definition is a s attribute definition when we are going to say it as s attribute if every attribute is a synthesized attribute what we said in our previous class synthesized attribute parent attribute can use its child or itself they can get the values only from child or itself if it is following that condition we say it as a synthesized attribute all the attributes in our sdd should follow synthesized attributes then we can say it as a s attribute sdd what's the use of it with if you follow this you are not going to form cycles uh, why we are not going to form uh, cycles uh, this s attribute is helpful in a bottom up approach uh, why it is helpful in bottom up approach uh, see parent uh, from its child uh, parent attribute can use itself or it's from its child that is what we call it a synthesized attribute uh, just now we discussed that uh, star f t dash can be reduced to t means whenever you are doing in the bottom up approach whenever you are doing the reduce action means you already found children so it, it can use easily calculate t value if, if you are having any attribute for t parent you can easily calculate because bottom up is following this approach before means it is going to identify child first these are going to reduce to t if you follow a set uh, synthesized attributes all of them are synthesized attribute means uh, easily uh, child will be identified there's a reduced to t child will be identified reduced to t child will be identified reduced to t that is how that's why it's s attribute is helpful used for bottom up approach similarly come to the l attribute you can in the l attribute an sdt is said to be is in in l attribute you can have synthesized or inherited attributes you can have both but you have to follow one condition in inherited should use either parent or from left sibling only inherited attributes has to use attributes from its parent or from its left sibling only why left sibling top down approach follows left to right that's why this inherited attributes is helpful in top down approach see why let's try to understand this is the example t tends to f t dash if you are having this inherited attribute t dash dot inherited is equal to f dot val t dash is using from its left sibling 
because top down follows first left will be completed so there is no need to chance of waiting for the left because after completion of left we are going to t dash you, you there is no need to stuck in the middle that is what uh, our dependency graph says you should not stuck in the middle you before if you want to evaluate this whatever required for this uh, they, those should be evaluated uh, previously when we are evaluating this that is what our dependency graph says uh, means that's why in our inherited you should only left sibling uh, you should not use right sibling values uh. so similarly t dash tends to star f t1 dash t1 dash uh, dot inherited this is an inherited attribute it is using values from its uh, parent or from a left sibling uh. yes it is going to this is an uh, l attribute uh, definition let's take that example t f t dash t dash star f t dash uh, t it starts from here f uh, whenever you goes here before f is available because we already moved to f whenever you goes here star f t dash whenever you goes here already f and parent is available we already came here you can calculate t dash inherited value this example that is the example which we used in our previous classes so this is what a l attribute means if you follow these conditions so you don't need to check for cycles because it it is not going to form cycles in your attribute evaluation hope you understand the concept of s and l attribute if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you